I have made a video showing many positive parts of the Luton game. I thought City played poorly in the first three league games and did not deserve much from them. I said at the time we don't have an attack. Pearson has since changed the forward line, and it has made us look a completely different side. Here is the action. Wells comes short and drags left centre back with him. Ball into space for Sykes. His pace has got him the wrong side of his man. Conway is left free as the defender needs to cover. The keeper comes way off his line. The defender does well dealing with the danger, but good move by City, and on another day who knows? Luton trying to break, playing forward but only one passing option. Atkinson can get tight as there is nothing in behind for him to worry about. Masenga wins the ball. The speed and angle of Conway's press would certainly put him off from going back to the centre-back, or inside to the defensive midfielder. Even a pass into Campbell he probably feels is too risky. As soon as Burke receives the ball, Scott can see where he will pass it. Atkinson again getting tight to his man, Naismith covering, but again, no one to worry about in behind Atkinson. Conway wins free kick. There is no way one of those two Luton defenders leave each other one on one with Conway there. A pass into the space is an option for Scott. But with two Luton defenders occupied by one player in Conway, and Luton bringing bodies over to try and win the ball, it's likely City have a numerical advantage somewhere. So instead Scott takes a more patient approach. Two of Luton's three-man midfield have been dragged into City's left channel. There's space for Naismith to step into midfield. He is under pressure from the man behind him, so requires a lovely touch to play it quickly to Masengo. Vyman should turn as he controls the ball. But instead he dribbles back in the direction the ball came from. This allows Luton's three-man midfield to get back behind the ball. When the Luton player receives the ball there are no passing options. A short pass is risky with City players close. There doesn't even seem to be passing lanes back to the defence or goalie. Excellent again from City. Conway showing how capable he is linking play with a long pass up to him from Bentley. Look how City beat the Luton press here. Maybe a bit of luck how it found De Silva. Everyone misses it. Or is it a great touch by Vyman? I can't tell. Either way we are now playing it out at times, something we didn't do at all in some games last season. Defender cannot get good distance on the header with Conway backing into him. Once City win the ball back, Naismith steps up slightly to give City a numerical advantage 2 versus 1 in midfield, but De Silva chooses not to use him. Someone as short as Narky Wells really should not be coming away with this long ball when up against a big 6 foot 2 centre half. Very impressive strength. And 19 year old Alex Scott was often too strong for his opponent too. Luton not even able to pass the ball backwards here. Vyman cutting it out. Scott passes the ball and then his movement drags Campbell away from the central space. Atkinson's movement deep wide left has dragged Adebayo with him away from a central position. This has opened space for Naismith to step into midfield to receive the De Silva pass. Maybe this is enough time on the ball for better players, but City's pressing is too much for Luton. City making it so difficult for Luton again here. Viner able to get tight to his man and win the ball. Wells too quick for him. City throw in.
Vyman needs to move this player out of the way slightly to clear space for De Silva. Which he does. The player I crossed out here is covered by Masengo, helped by Vyman giving the player in possession less of an angle to make that pass, as well as no time on the ball. Masengo can see where the ball will be going before the pass is made. Conway's speed and angle means the goalkeeper only has one option. Wells has to really sprint to make it to the player to stop there being an easy pass, De Silva on to him, then Masengo too quick for his man, and it's City's throw in. Wells does well again. He cannot then make it up the pitch to support the attack, but look at the wing backs pushing up high. Good numbers attacking on the counter. Soon after this Sykes is shown a red card. I will not go into that part, as the point of my video is to show how we play 11 vs 11. We defended well and looked comfortable enough to see out the 2-0 victory. Since making this video City have put in another very good performance against Cardiff and taken another 3 points. A slightly different side because of Sykes suspension, but with the same high pressing identity. No doubt this is something Pearson will want to continue with, and build on. Come on you Reds.